Hello everybody, welcome back. We are camping for free, 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 free. We can take Bella out here for a little bit. She wasn't in the last video and nobody, nobody beat me up about it. Thank you. What, what are you doing, Bella? Wait, what are you do? What are you doing, Bella? Do you, do you need to go out? Is it time to go outside for a little bit? Huh? You ready? Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's been a mighty, mighty windy day. All of a sudden, we'll get a gust and I mean, it blows the RV. Whoop, let's give Bella a moment there. Here we are at Twin Hollows Campground, just south of Carmel, uh, Carmel, Jun Carmel Mountain Junction, <laughs> okay? Which is just a little bit east of uh, Zion National Park. Uh, nothing fancy. We don't have any good, nice green grass growing here, but it is free. Doesn't have all the fancy landscaping, and but it has Mother Nature's landscaping. Did you get done over there, girl? You ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Yeah. All of a sudden, we'll get a terrible gust of wind, blows the RV and anything. I am using my better mic. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it even has its limitations let me attach it back up here okay what have we been doing yes sir free camping we've been here for four days and uh the bounder hasn't run in four days so i'm not using any gas there's no camping fees free 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 so anyway here comes a little bit of wind Let's move over here a little bit. So, I got to noticing uh, my batteries aren't so happy here a lot, as happy lately. But then again, the hours of the day that we have good sunshine is getting less and less. It's getting that time of the year. So, the batteries are starting to suffer a little bit. And I made, I made matters worse because I parked between these two hills so I, the sun don't even hit the RV until uh, about 9.30 in the morning. And then I lose sun about 6.30 in the afternoon. And it's a little cloudy right now. So, you know, being here for four days, you know, when we're traveling, the engine helps keep the, the batteries get a nice dose, you know, regularly when we're traveling. That, that helps. But it hasn't been running. And I got these hills going on. So the batteries have been suffering. So I got my generator out and plugged in. Uh, that's my backup. Okay, that was plan B because uh, the main onboard generator still has issue. But I thought I'm just gonna bring my portable generator and if I really need a generator, I have one that runs. And it's pretty nice because it has a remote, okay? Push a button. Hello? Push a button. <coughs> Okay, so that makes it nice, like if I get up in the morning, I want to make coffee, and I use a little, and it's not a Keurig machine, it's a off-brand one, but still, I make the little coffee pods. I love those. Italian roast or French roast. You know, there are more bolder, uh, stronger coffee. I like those. I'm, that's the one thing I spoil myself is I, I just drink those. Um, so anyway, you know, I don't have to come out and start it up. I can just push the button in the morning when the coffee's done. Push the button again, it shuts off. So it's at least convenient to that point. Bella, what are you doing over there? Huh? What are you doing over there, girl? Oh, nothing. Just being good. I'm just being good. So it has been nice being stopped. I, you've seen I had the motorcycle down. I finally changed the oil on the motorcycle, lubricated the chain, took it for a little ride. We're pretty good there. Uh, checked all the fluids. 
you know, after about 3,000 miles, and we've been on a couple episodes of uh, climbing some pretty big mountains, uh, and after about 3,000 miles, it didn't, did need a quart of oil, uh, which isn't bad considering the age, mileage, uh, what I've been asking out of it lately. <laughs> so that was pretty good. So, yeah, yeah, and I've finally dug out. I'm kind of... So yeah, I finally dug out. You know, I've been avoiding this. And I dug out, you know, some paperwork I had and a website to download uh, troubleshooting information and stuff. You see how this, you see I have this apart. And uh, here's the old voltage regulator. I can, I can make it run if I put a C-clamp on it and squeeze it. Don't ask how I, <laughs> don't ask. And I do have a new control board. And uh, the, this control board is bad, or was bad. We fixed it. My buddy Dave fixed it. There was a, uh, I think a 300 ohm resistor on it. Uh, it was the one contact was bad on it. So he got another one, soldered it on, and it, it should run. I probably don't have my seat clamp tight enough. Hang on, <laughs> hang on. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see here. Maybe I haven't squeezed in the wrong place. There's something loose or broken in this thing. If I put the C-clamp on it, yeah, a couple of squeezes, not too much. Come on, girl. Ooh, still nothing. I may have finally fried it all together. Well, anyway, we come to realize that after a lot of troubleshooting, uh, a lot of testing various things on this, that the problem was in here. At first we thought it was a broken wire because when you moved it, when you move something on here, we could get it to run and stay running. Uh, but maybe I've, maybe I've finally fried it all together. It, I don't think it was, yeah, so, I did have it running yesterday, you know, for about a half an hour, so that was good for it to exercise it, and all the fluids and everything in it, and contacts and all that, maybe I'll try that on this end. loosen this clamp up, it shuts off. But if I hurry up and retighten it, it'll stay off. Whoa, I told you it was windy. Better, 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 come on. Come on. But it will shut back off again. See if I squeeze it. There's something bad inside it. Regulator is definitely bad. I started hacking it all apart with a knife and a razor blade um, because, just like my buddy repaired, put a new resistor in this control board. Uh, I mean, there's a protective there's a protective coating they spray on these things. Well, that protective coating has deteriorated, so now the elements can get to it, and that's why that one contact got corroded and came off to begin with. Well, so he found, my buddy found that and, and repaired that. So the, we repaired the board, but because that protective coating has deteriorated, it's only a matter of time before the next one corrodes and lets loose. Now I did buy a brand new board for it. I just haven't installed it yet, but I'm going to and keep this one as a backup. So, um, but this here is what I need to replace. And uh, I'll try to make a long story short, I did buy uh, an aftermarket uh, one off of a company called Flight Systems, and uh, 
I plugged it in, way it worked, perfect. I'm like, yeah, hey, my generator's fixed. It stayed running, no C-clamp needed, <laughs> okay. And then after about 20 minutes, it died. And I'm thinking, no, that, what's going on? So I just looked at some other things and it's like, I unplugged that new one and I plugged this old one back in and it started up and started running again. So that told me the old one, or that new one I bought had failed. Well, luckily, um, they made good on it, and I, I didn't want it repaired or replaced. I said, just, um, just give me my money back. Uh, because I don't know, to me, being an aftermarket thing by a company I've never heard of, I don't know if they use substandard materials or products to make that, or if they just, it wasn't as uh, robust, you know, as heavy duty as the original, but, you know, that thing was $255 and I was happy to get my money back. They do have the original equipment, uh, OEM ones available, but they're another hundred, you know, they're 360 bucks. And it's just something I haven't been able, I haven't been able to swallow that pill yet. You know, because to me, the generator is a, is a luxury. I, I can do without, you know, necessities are, you know, if the rig needs, you know, I recently put brakes on it and a new tire and, you know, those I have to have. Those are important things. This has been on the back burner because, well, I do have the backup one, but, but even that, you know, I, I could do without a generator altogether. I, I could. Um, I don't have to have my coffee. <laughs> you know, I, I can run the coffee either off the generator or I generally have enough battery power I can run it off the batteries too but uh, push come to shove I can make hot water on the stove and I have a pour over thing I'll still have my damn coffee um, that's how passionate I am about my coffee make gives me a case of having a potty mouth <laughs> anyway what else is going on I don't know I don't know. Yeah, there's a whole troubleshooting guide available for these things, and let's get back over here. Bella, 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 bella. Ready? Ready? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go. Are you getting me? Huh? Hi, Baba. She's the good girl. She's the good girl. Ready? Go. Which one? Which one? Go, go, go. All right. Anyway. That's really all we've been up to. Doing a little house cleaning. I put a ham in the oven today. I just took it out. It's gonna cool down a little bit. I'm gonna carve into that. Yummy ham. Yeah, been cleaning and doing maintenance things and the solar on the roof. Yeah, because these days are getting shorter. I thought, well, it probably doesn't help if my solar panels are dirty. I haven't been on the roof since sometime in June, maybe back in April. <laughs> so I went up this morning. Yeah, they're filthy. I cleaned them off, and so that that's not playing a bad part in the whole mix. I did put a fifth solar panel up there right before I left Pennsylvania. It's not even hooked up yet. I need to get up to that. It was a last-minute thing. I was already ready to leave Pennsylvania, and I thought, oh, yeah, winter time again. The shorter days, I'm lacking in solar during that time period. I thought, let me get a fifth panel. So I delayed my departure, hurry up and order another panel off of Amazon. What, as soon as it got in, I at least mounted it and got it up there. So I didn't have, <laughs> have it in here bouncing around. So it's at least up there and mounted. I need to get some crimpers, the proper crimpers for the type of wire that's on the solar uh, hookups. I got the connectors and everything. 
So I need to hook up that fifth panel, then I'll have go from 400 watts of solar to 500 watts of solar. So that'll help make up the difference in the shorter days. Um, and I upgraded uh, from this dumb controller to this smarter controller. It's supposed to be smarter and more efficient, up to 20% more efficient. So anyway, just uh, kind of dealing with that kind of stuff. No, uh, no traveling today, no, sight no sightseeing, no dash cam. Uh, that's it. Okay, I forgot. I should add something here. I know I said I I added a quart of oil after 3,000 miles. Somebody's going to say you should be changing it at 3,000 miles, not adding to it and keep going, right? Well, I normally do on these older engines. 3,000 miles, certainly a good point to change it. But at 3,000, it still looks so clean that on the, with the bounder, I've been pushing it to between four and five then it's just starting to look a little bit, get that little bit of darkness to it. To me, it's still pretty clean looking bit. I know it's starting to get contaminants in it. And so in the bounder's case, I, I, I stretch it to four or five. That's just, that's what I do. <laughs> the other thing, a couple of videos. Uh, oh yeah, some comments were made about how I rushed through um, uh, Monument Valley and uh, some other area. Well, Believe it or not, I'm on a timeline. I need to be somewhere. I, I want to be somewhere. So I would have liked to stay longer in some areas, but those places aren't going anywhere. They'll be there. I'm headed for to see something that is in motion around the country. And there's only one or two places here on October 6th, 5th and 6th, that I can realistically intercept it and see this thing. I don't know when I'll ever, ever have the chance to do that again. So I've been kind of on a schedule wanting to do this. You could call it another bucket list item. It is and isn't, but it's just something I'd really like to see. Um, anyway, so maybe that'll explain why I've hurried through Monument Valley. I passed by. I wasn't too far from the Grand Canyon. Uh, but I need to be somewhere. Them places aren't going anywhere, okay? This other thing is a little harder to catch because it moves. <laughs> All right. That's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time.